In this video, we're going over how to use the LG K40 for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to show you how to use the LG K40 for beginners. Uh, the first thing we're going to show you is just the buttons, kind of understanding where everything is. So on the left side of the phone, you do have the volume buttons, volume up and volume down. And here you have a Google Assistant button. On the right side of the phone here, you will have the power slash standby button. So you can tap this button to turn the screen off and turn it on. You can also hold down the button for about two seconds to get to the power off, the power off power off and restart, and the airplane mode option. So that's what you would use that button for. Again, if you wanna turn it off, you do have to hold down that button for a few seconds. All right, so we're gonna take you into the phone. We have a password on it, but don't worry, you don't have to put a password on yours if you don't need to, or if you don't feel comfortable. So the first thing you'll wanna do is go to the settings app at the bottom of the screen here. We're gonna show you how to put the phone in the, what's called easy mode, which is a great uh, mode for first time users. It just kind of simplifies everything for you. So uh, in the settings, you're gonna tap on the display icon here, and then tap on the home screen, and then select home, tap here. And come down to easy mode, tap here, and press okay. Give it a second, it's gonna then set up the phone like this. And again, a couple of cool things about this model, obviously it's gonna be an easier setup, um, but everything is larger as well. So it's gonna be easier to see the apps that are on the screen. I'm gonna use the word apps from time to time. Uh, apps is just a, uh, it's just short for applications. Think of a computer, how a computer has programs, phones have apps or applications. So now that we're on the easy mode setting, um, before I get to how to navigate the phone, I'm gonna show you how to connect to Wi-Fi. So uh, for those of you that are on limited phone plans where you can't use a lot of internet, but you do have home internet, it's better to use your home Wi-Fi versus the phone's internet. So I'm gonna show you how to connect to that first. What you're gonna do is swipe down. So start at the very top of the screen in the black and just swipe down. That's gonna take us to, this is called our notification panel here. And look for this button, which is your Wi-Fi button. And you're just gonna put your finger on it and hold down on it. This will take you to your Wi-Fi section of the phone and it'll show you all the different Wi-Fi networks that are available where you are. So you're gonna find the network for your home. And if you don't know the name, ask someone who lives there to give you the Wi-Fi uh, name and the password. For ours, it's Team Rain, so we're gonna tap on that, and then we will just enter the password right here. Once you have the password in, you're gonna hit Connect, and it should say Connected, and that's how you'll know you are connected to your Wi-Fi. So that is how you make that connection. And now we're gonna go over how to uh, navigate the phone. So uh, at the bottom of the screen here, you have these three buttons. These are your navigation buttons. It's how you kind of move around the phone. You have a home button, a back button, and a recent apps button. And I'll walk you through how each one works. So um, these are applications here. If I go to Google Chrome, which is the internet, and I wanna go back to that main screen, I simply hit this home button. And that's gonna take me back home. So really easy. That's how the home button works. No matter what you're doing, if you tap on that little circle, it takes you back to this main screen. Now, let's say I go into the settings here and I am selecting different things. Maybe I'll go to uh, general and battery, for example. I can use this back button to move back one screen. So here, take me back to the main screen. If I tap it again, it'll take me home. So all the back button does is just take you back one step from whatever you've done. So that's when you would use this button. 
Now this button, the recent apps button, it just shows you um, whatever apps you previously opened, it's how you get back to them. So um, we went to this Google Chrome app, for example, and then we went home. If I wanted to get back to that app, I could tap on it, but I can also hit recent apps and swipe down and here it is. And I can tap and get right back to that same screen that I was on. So essentially recent apps just lets you see the last few things that you've used. And if you wanna close all this stuff out because you're finished using it, just hit the close all button or clear all and it'll close out all the apps that are running in the background. So that's how your navigation buttons work. If you wanna make a phone call, you would tap on the phone button here and you make sure you're on dial. And here you can just simply type in a number and then make that call it's really easy. You can go to call logs to see any calls that you've previously made and you can easily call them back just by tapping the phone next to them. You can go to contacts and groups. If you wanna add a new contact, for example, you can tap on this little green plus and this screen is gonna pop up here. Normally you wanna save all contacts to a Google account. If you haven't set up a Google account first, then we should do this next step. So before we save a contact, I'm gonna advise you to do this. So we've been on this main screen for everything. Now if you swipe up from the right to the left and you go to this next screen here, you'll wanna to go to the Play Store. Now the Play Store is where you download applications or games or music or movies, anything you wanna use on the phone, it all goes through this particular app here. But to use that, you do need to have a Google account or a Google email address or a Gmail set up on the phone. If you do not have a Gmail on the phone, it won't allow you to download anything new. So it's very important that you follow that first step. So when you tap on the Play Store, uh, because I already have a Google account on the phone, it's taking me right to the store. But for most of you, if you haven't set up a Google account yet, it's gonna ask you to put in your Gmail and the password. If you have a Gmail, great, enter it in. If you don't have a Gmail, you'll see a button that says create a new account. You'll click on create a new account and you'll you know make up whatever you want your email address to be and your password. And once you finish that process, it will take you to this screen right here. So very important that you install that Google account. If you choose not to install one, that's fine, but it will limit what you're able to do on the phone. Once in here, you can search for any game or application by just simply doing a search. You use this little section at the very top of the screen that says search for apps. You can even tap the microphone and say the name of the game or program that you want. Solitaire. So the voice search, very easy. Tap on it, say what you wanna search and it will recommend any applications that will go with that. If I wanna download an application, I can tap on it and tap the install button. If it says install here, it means that the game or application is free. If you see a price here, it means that you will need to pay for it. So be aware of things that do have a dollar value because those will charge you. You can tap on install and you'll just give it a little bit of time and we'll begin to download the application on the phone for you. Now while that's downloading, oh, it's actually finished. So it's finished, we're gonna use our home button here to go back to our main screen. And we should see, oh. So to get to that application we just downloaded, we're gonna go here, which is our, what's called our app drawer. This is where you'll find all the different applications that are on the phone. And just swipe over, and you should see that new application on this screen, and here it is, Solitaire. And that's how you download an application onto the phone. Now, if we go back to the store, or we use our recent apps here, <clears throat> go back to the Play Store, 
we can use our back button to go back one step. See that? So that's how the back button works. And at the bottom here, notice you'll see games, apps, movies, and books. These are the different categories of what you can download on the device. So in the books section, you'll find eBooks, audiobooks, comic books, all kind of things there. Under movies, same thing for you, TV, top selling, new release, genre, family, studio. So that's just how you download different things. In this section, you can download movies, TV shows, and I wanna say music as well. So that is the Play Store where you're, you will download applications. Now we're gonna go back home. The last thing I wanna show you is how to save a contact into the phone. So by going to the phone app, and again, under the contacts uh, option here, you can tap on the plus here. And it's gonna ask you where you want to save the contact. Um, I would advise you not to save it to the SIM card or the phone. You should see saving it to your Gmail because um, when you save it to your Gmail, whenever you switch phones, as long as you use the same email address to sign in, it will move the contacts over automatically. So it'll save you some time, especially if you were to lose the phone, your contacts won't be lost because they'll be saved under your Google account in the cloud. So I'm gonna tap on my Gmail here. And now I can enter the name of the person I want to save. So I can just say uh, Jim. And then I'm gonna tap on phone. Type in the phone number. And then I can even save a picture with this contact by tapping on this little green circle. Tap, take a photo. And you can take a picture. Just for demonstration, obviously. And you can crop the picture down. And then now you have a picture for that contact and then I can hit save and that easy, um, you now have the, a contact saved in your phone. And you can actually have it as a shortcut on the home screen just by tapping on add. And we'll just type in Jim. Tap on Jim. And there it is. Now you have a shortcut to maybe someone you call the most I can tap on this and it will ask, hey, do I want to call them or send a message? So this is a really easy way to set up shortcuts to important people for you to call on the home screen. So those are your contacts. You make calls through here. Um, your camera is going to be right here. You're used to take pictures. And your photo gallery is here if you want to see all the pictures you've taken. And again, all your other apps are gonna be in this section right here. You have calendar, clock for setting alarms and different things like that. So anyway, this has been our uh, quick video on how to use the LG K40 for beginners. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and have a good one.